guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling here. Gonna give you guys the final day practice report here at Lake Cherokee. Uh, our tournament starts tomorrow and I uh, got a half a day on the water today and sort of gonna give you guys a rundown how the day went and what my plan is for the first day of the tournament tomorrow. Um, real quick before we get started, just a couple quick housekeeping tips. Just wanna remind you guys, if you guys are interested in any just rods, reels, fishing tackle, fishing clothes, just whatever, fishing line, um, I'm going to include the Baitworks link in the description. You guys know I'm working with Baitworks. It's a great way to support the channel here if you guys are needing any tackle, including the block of old school jigs, which you can get there exclusively. And also, just want to remind everybody, that if you guys haven't had a chance, go by and check out fishthemoment.com, our lake map breakdowns. Johnny, myself, Matt Stefan have been pumping them out. we got breakdowns of lakes all over the country. It's a great way to learn more about the lake you want to fish or your favorite lake or a lake you're going to. Um, you can check them out at fishthemoment.com. I'll include the link in the description there. Okay, guys, let's talk about the uh, last day of practice here. Um, here in the Bassmaster Opens, we only get a half a day of practice on Wednesday. So um, this is this was my second and a half day of practice. I practiced Monday, Tuesday, and half a day today. And uh, today I decided, if you guys have followed the last couple of days, you know, I've been fishing sort of all over the lake. And uh, today what I wanted to do is I wanted to try to get into some off colored water and see if I could catch any fish shallow because we got, it's warmer, much warmer today. It's gonna be warm tomorrow and windy. And I felt that those fish needed to get looked at. So I spent my entire half day today um, in dirty water, you know, just finding, hunting the dirtiest water I could find. <clears throat> And I'm pretty disappointed with it. I caught a couple small keepers and a couple non-keepers, but just did not get many bites. I, I didn't, uh, I really, it surprised me because it was actually, today I, I was in the best looking water <clears throat> that I'd fished all week. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, saw fewer boats than I did all week. So I was really wanting it to work because it just looked great at where I was fishing at. But uh, that's something that could pan out in the tournament. I mean, with the water warming up, it's gonna warm up a lot today. It's gonna warm up tomorrow. Uh, somebody might, you know, get into that dirty water and, and catch a good bag, but I just couldn't make it happen. So I've sort of wrote that off in the tournament. You can't do everything. So here's the deal in, in my tournament here, what I'm thinking about. The first day of practice, um, I caught a limit of fish that weighed about 13 pounds, which is a decent bag, not great, not, but it's, you know, it would probably be a top 40 bag. And yesterday I caught two big ones, two four pounders, but I didn't catch a limit with them. So I'm pretty confident I could do the same things I was doing the first day of the tournament and catch 12 or 13 pounds a day. I'm, I'm pretty confident I could do that. But again, that doesn't mean anything because let's say if I go out and catch 13, and there's some dude over there with a sander or something. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but he just, just every time I pull up to do a video, there's somebody making some type of noise here. So anyway, 13 pounds a day, guys, why some people be happy with that, it's not gonna do me anything. Because let's say if I catch 13 pounds a day and finish 35th place in the tournament and make a check, I'm gonna make a $2,500 check. And after I pay my entry fee and expenses and everything that it took to get here, I'm gonna wind up losing a thousand dollars on this tournament and I'm not gonna make the classic and it's not gonna help me out for any type of elite series deal. So in my in, in my situation, <clears throat> catching 13 or 14 pounds a day, I might I might not as I might not as well even catch one with the goals that I have. So my plan tomorrow is um, sort of like I did with Toho, is I'm gonna I've I'm gonna go and try to catch those big ones. I'm gonna stay with that technique. I found a bait, I found a technique, you know, I caught two fish over four pounds yesterday and I'm gonna run with that all day long. I just, I, it's, it's easy to pick up a couple of different baits I know to catch a limit, but <clears throat> if I'm gonna get in the top five in this tournament or win this tournament and try to make the classic, that's not gonna do me any good. I have got to get those fish going on those baits that I know will produce the big one, especially the big smallmouth with the wind tomorrow. So that's my plan tomorrow is I'm gonna go uh, back to those fish that I found yesterday. I'm gonna try to expand on it. I'm gonna stay with, there's one or one bait I know for sure the big ones will hit. I got a, a couple more they might. And I'm gonna stay with it all day long. And I, I may finish in the middle of the pack like I did at Toho, or I may win the tournament. I mean, but you know, I, I feel like I've got to do that. I mean, I don't, 
it's so tempting guys when you're when it's 11 o'clock in the morning you've got one fish in the boat to pull something else out and just try to catch a limit limit of fish and in, when you do that you take yourself out of the chance to to win a tournament so this these Bassmaster opens like we talked about before you know they're I love bass but the opens are money pits everybody knows it and you know everybody's here the reason there's 200 and some people in this tournament is everybody's got their eye on that carrot they dangle to make the classic if you win the tournament including myself so that's what I'm going for so like I said don't be surprised if I finish 180th in this tournament or if I win the tournament because it's probably going to be one or the other if the way that I'm going to fish tomorrow, I'm probably not, I'm probably not going to have like a, a, just a decent money fish finish. It's either going to suck big time or it's going to be really good. So that's just the reality of fishing the Bassmaster Opens. When you don't, when you're not fishing for a championship, you're not fishing for points. The Elite Series is like winning the lottery. You know, you've got three guys that make it out of 200 and something. So nobody can realist, realistically sort of play with that. I mean, uh, like I said, <clears throat> I always said about the Elite Series, they're next to impossible to get into and they're impossible to get out of once you make it. So that's just sort of the way that is there. But I'm gonna, got a lot to do today. I've got to hear, I got to do a promotion at Walmart for Bridgeford Foods here in a second. I got to do the registration a little bit later this afternoon and I got a ton of tackle work to do. So I got a busy afternoon. So again, guys, thanks for following me this week. Much appreciated you guys checking out the videos. Um, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated, let you know how it goes tomorrow after the first day of the tournament. So talk later.